A new expansion means new hunter pets, and Shadowlands is no exception to that. There's going to be a ton of new hunter pets for you to tame. So in this video, I wanted to run through all the new looking hunter pets that you're going to be able to tame in Shadowlands. Now, one thing I'm not going to be covering in this video is pets that are already obtainable that just have a different color in Shadowlands. I'm just going to be covering the new looking pet. The first one up is going to be Bastion and the first pet is going to be this new moth, the Glimmer Flies. There's going to be three different color variants of this so far to tame, like a bluey one, a purpley orange, and then a pinky one. And now there'll be a map up showing you the rough locations you can tame these from. It's not going to be every single location, but it's going to be enough to get you started. And that's going to be the format we're going to follow for the rest of the video. I'm going to run through the pet, its various colors, and then show you a map of where to get it while I'm talking as well. The next pet up is a new wind serpent, and that is going to be these ether worms. And I really, really like these. They kind of have like the ether coming out of the tail. There's going to be a black version, a brown version, a kind of like different shade of brown. And then the blue one, definitely my favorite. Nothing you need to know about these teams. You can just go and get yourself the various ether worms. The next pet up is going to be a new feather mane, which is these owl steeds. And because they're a feather mane, it does mean they're a hybrid beast. And you are going to need that tome of hybrid beast taming. To get this, you will need to complete your Legion class order hall as a hunter. Final quest being the Knights of the Wild. And then once you've got that, you'll be able to go purchase the tome from an NPC in your class order hall. So do make sure you've got that as there are a few pets in Shadowlands that you're going to need this for to be able to tame them. So back to the owl steeds and the first one up is going to be the gold colored one. And then the other one you can tame is also like a silvery colored one. As I said, there would be more feather mains and we're on to another one called the Larians. These are kind of like winged lions. And the first one up is going to be this kind of like bluey color. The next will be a goldy color, and then the final one will be like a purpley color. You can actually get all of these three pretty much together. There'll be an area where all of them kind of spawn, so you can pick those up nice and easily if you want. There is a fourth one as well, which is a spectral one of the gold colored one. Now, unfortunately, this was currently bugged on beta, but normally what would happen is you speak to Orator Chloe, and they will spawn in one of these kind of rare spectral beasts that you'll fight and kill. And it'll rotate through four different ones, and one of them will be the kind of spectral Larian for you to tame. The next pet up is going to be these Vulpins, which are going to come under the Fox family. And there's going to be five of these that you can tame total within Bastion. One is going to be like a darker colored one. One's going to be a white colored one. You'll have an orangey one, a goldy one, and then finally, you'll have a spectral version of the white one. All of them fairly simple to tame. The spectral one coming from the same source as the spectral Larian that we were talking about a moment ago, where it'll be one of the four rares from Chloe that will spawn in. Obviously, once again, was bugged, so I couldn't actually get any of them to spawn. If you are after more Vulpins, there will be more later on in the video as well. There's some more from uh, Adamweald. The next pet up is going to be Mechanical. So if you're not a Gnome, Goblin or Mecha Gnome, you will need yourself the Mecha Bond Imprint Matrix to be able to tame Mechanical Beasts. And this is going to be the Far Lynx, which is a Mechanical Beast. It looks really cool. I do like these. And you're going to be able to tame these in a black color, a gold color and a silver color. Now the black and silver are just obtainable. You'll see those on the map. The gold one, however, there's only one of them currently in the game, and that's attached to a quest. The quest you'll need is you go first, which is part of like a side story quest line, and it's quite far into the chain. The first quest up is going to be how to become Forsworn, which you'll pick up from where I'm showing you now. So basically grab that, go through the quest chain, and eventually you'll fight these mechanical beasts. And one of them will be the golden one that you can just straight up tame. So it's probably worth not handing in this quest. So, so you can keep it, so you can tame it for other people if you're into doing that. So that is Bastion out the way. The next one up is going to be Revendreth, and the first pet are going to be these Dread Bats. So they're just a part of the Bat family, and there's going to be four different types you can tame. You're going to have the purple one, like a black one, a red one, and then finally a stone one. So pretty cool colorings. Normally not a pet I'd use myself, but not bad overall. Next up, we have a newish spider model, and that's going to be the Great Spiders. Now, we've seen this before on the mount, and there's going to be three of these that we can pick up in Revendreth. It's going to be a black one, which is very similar to the mount, a red colored one, and then kind of like a purpley colored one as well. And if you are interested in these pets, there's a few more to pick up from Maldraxxus later on in the video. The next pet up is going to be these Gargons, which are like the werewolf bears. And these have been lumped into the Quillen family, meaning you will need to be Beast Mastery to tame them. But on top of that as well, you will need a Gargon training manual, which you'll grab from a rare called Huntmaster Petrus, which I'm showing you on the map now. This was quite trivial to solo as a max level, 
And you could kill this while leveling as well, because it will scale down. And you basically just, you know, throw misdirect onto your pet, kill it that way, and you'll get yourself the manual. It does seem to be on a 100% drop chance. In terms of the Gorgons themselves, you're going to have seven different color variants to tame. First one up is going to be the stone one. And then you're going to have a dark brown and kind of a light brown one. It's going to be kind of like three different shades of gray. And then finally, the black one. Our next up is going to be a Maldraxxus, and the first pet up is going to be these Skull Boars. These are going to come under the Boar family, and there's going to be six of these in total for you to tame. Most of them aren't too similar, it's mainly going to be the bone colour that will change, but there are a couple like the green one and the light brown one that do have the different kind of flesh colour as well. The next pet up is going to be a Chimera, and that is going to be the Death Chimera. Now because it is a Chimera, it's going to be an exotic pet, meaning Beast Mastery only can tame this. And this is the pet I don't have a proper preview for. The reason for that is the spots that were on Wowhead for the various different color variants just didn't seem to exist. Like I'd either go there, the pet wasn't there, or it was the exact same color as the one I'd already tamed. So I'm either going colorblind or there's something wrong on the current build. I don't, I'm not too sure, but there should be six possible colors for you to tame and 12 different variants in total because there will be a horned version and a non-horned version. There'll be a rough location of the chimeras on the screen, but not the color specific ones like I do for all the other pets. I apologize. And maybe down the line, I'll update the map in the description to have the proper color variants when I can do that. The next pet up is going to be a new bird of prey and that is going to be the death rock. There'll be four versions of this for you to tame, a green one, a purple one, a grayish one, and kind of like a dark purple slash black one and two of them are very easy to pick up the green and the gray one the purple and blackish one though are going to require a little bit more to get a hold of them the purple one only spawns in during the venthyr kind of story quest line so you'd need to be venthyr and on that specific quest to get it and then the black one also requires that venthyr quest or you need to pick it up while you're leveling through the zone because there'll be a mob that's only there during the le leveling phase in and then there'll be a mob as well flying around while you're on the quest to the door unknown, which is basically to unlock the seat of the Primus. So you'll need those if you want to pick that those ones up in particular. If you like undead goat looking things that are actually oxens, then you'll like the new Tauralus pet. There's going to be nine of these total for you to tame. It's going to be three armored ones, kind of like a blue armor, green armor, and like a purplish armor one for you to tame. They're going to all be picked up in the House of the Chosen. And there's going to be two saddled ones. And this is basically a shared spawn. So it'll spawn just near the House of Rituals and it'll walk along the path towards the House of Eyes and then back again. And only one of these can be up at a time. So if it's the color that you don't want, then you'll have to kill it and wait for it to respawn and then hope it is the color variant that you do want. And then there'll be the four kind of unsaddled, unarmored ones that you can pick up throughout the zone as well. As mentioned earlier, there are going to be some more great spiders for you to pick up within Maldraxxus. And there's going to be five total. There'll be a kind of purpley one a silverish colored one, a kind of like venomish green looking one, a brown colored one, and then finally the spectral one. Spectral one's pretty neat, I do like that one. Next up we'll be heading over to Ardenweald and the pet here up first is going to be these new Gorms. These are going to come under the Krolusk family which means it's kind of been extended and because it's a Krolusk-esque pet it is going to be exotic meaning you will need to be Beastmaster. There's 18 of these in total for you to tame but there's only six color variants. So that does mean there are going to be three different kind of variants of each color. And the way these change is the way they're like tusks and things like that look. So one will have kind of like these two kind of pincers. And then there'll be one with horns and pincers. And then there'll be one with kind of like a weird mouth of death kind of thing going on. And in terms of the colors, there's going to be black, blue, green, orange, purple, and silver. Next up, we have another Gorm, but these are going to be the Gorm Wasps. They're going to come under the Wasp family. And there's going to be six different colors of these for you to tame. The black, the blue, the green, the orange, the purple, and the silver. And these aren't too bad, although personally I'm not a big fan of the wasp pets. If you're a fan of moths, then there are four more moths on top of the three we talked about earlier. And these are going to be the Ardenweald moths. There's going to be four of these in total. There's going to be a green one, a red one, a purple black, and a purple white one. So if you really like moths, there's going to be seven different ones you can add to your collection in Shadowlands. The remaining Vulpins for you to pick up can be found within Ardenweald, and here you'll find a purplish colored one, a greeny colored one, a kind of like light blue colored one, and then finally like a teal colored one with kind of like a, a dark gray fur, although that final one can only be picked up within the dungeon, so you will need to run the dungeon if you want that currently at least. Next up we have a new stag and that is going to be the rune stag. 
there's going to be four different color variants of these tanks to tame and then there's going to be four different versions of each color variant what will change is basically the horns so you'll have one with horns that are curved backwards one with horns that are kind of short one with horns that are more curved upwards and then you'll have the same as before where the horns are curved back but instead now it'll have a, like a little bit of webbing on the horns and it'll also seem to have this kind of glow like a blue glow in the middle of the horn as well which looks really cool in terms of the color variants you're going to have one that's kind of like a violet one that's on its way to being a green i guess one that's more like a dark gray and then one that's kind of like a light gray the final item wheeled pet is going to be a new toad obviously coming under the toad family and there's going to be three different colors of these for you to tame there's going to be like a blue one with green moss a blue one with kind of like purpley moss and then a purpley one with like white moss so if you're interested in getting yourself a toad go pick one of those up from adam wield our final stop is going to be the moor and there's some pretty cool pets here the first one up is going to be the soul seekers which are hounds and the first one is going to be this kind of darker armored one it is in an area of the moor though when you're trying to go there early you'll have this kind of negative effect that will fear you randomly and the fear does a lot of damage so it's going to be quite tricky to get to it but as you progress through the more that effect will be reduced and then there's going to be a gray one very easy to tame and then finally there's going to be kind of like a lighter gray one and this you'll even need to build up your wanted buff with the jailer to the assassin's point or you'll need to go and tame it within torghast the next pet up within the moor i think looks great as well and it's going to be the moor roach now unfortunately there's a bunch of these within the files but only one of them is tameable and these are a beetle family so you'll just be able to go and tame these and the one that is tameable is this kind of like light gray with blue glowing feet so really cool the final pet up within the moor is going to be the moor rat which is a new rodent and there's going to be two of these for you to tame there's going to be a green one and a blue one i'm not particularly a fan of these but probably just because they're obnoxious as hell within torghast so i won't be getting myself a moor rat but hey if you want one you can pick yourself up one from within the moor and yeah that's going to be it in terms of the pet now as i did mention earlier though there are more pets coming in shadowlands they're just going to be reclose of stuff that we can already obtain for example the stone dragon turtles if you like how tortoise looks then there's going to be some new color variants of that as well so if you're interested in seeing those there'll be a link to petopia down below that will show you all of the pets coming in shadowlands including the recolors also so we are quite late into shadowlands development uh, to the point where they're mainly just doing tweaking and bug fixes there could be new pets or models are already in the game that get turned into pets i don't think they're going to add new models at this point but things that are already in may be turned into pets so do keep that in mind there might be some more pets added so i would keep an eye out for those as well now i did try something a little bit different with this video it ended up being more work because i tried to be more concise with the info just quickly showing the pets and then showing you the map on where to get them obviously but though i had to create all those graphics for those maps which took quite a bit of time so let me know if you prefer this style and then I can kind of gauge whether it's worth trying to make these shorter videos or if I go back to the older style where I kind of go and show you the different pet locations and do it that way. But if you did appreciate the effort in the video, then definitely throw me a subscribe it is appreciated. Outside of that, look out for more videos coming soon, especially Shadowlands content. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.